Denzel Mims, I'm glad we didn't draft you. Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Hey, everybody. King Ding back here. I'm in my garage with a cigar. It's only a candy cigar because my wife won't let me smoke one after I put that big fat head up in our bedroom. That Let's get rid of that. Uh, at this point, uh, I'd be happy for Dak to be playing for somebody else. And my team stinks. I agree. Stinks. They laugh about us. We're a disgrace. We suck. I am now Philly 500's bitch. Dallas still stinks. doing King Ding back here and I hope everybody's having a great Monday. I hope you guys had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Me, I can't complain. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, of course, I'm here in Vegas, so that's a very cool thing and uh, I'm out early today because it's going to be 107 degrees out here. Way too hot for me. So I had to come out here while it's like 93 degrees and do this video, but I had a great weekend. Um, I went over to my uh, sister's boyfriend's house my youngest sister i actually have two sisters that live here in vegas so um went to my youngest sister's boyfriend's house and there amongst all these people he invited over he wind up proposing uh to my sister uh, good luck to him dealing with her but hey congratulations to david my sister maria uh congratulations on getting engaged to get married i'm so happy for you guys now over the course of the weekend, you know, I was kind of taking it easy, relaxing, chilling out. And uh, I started getting all these comments about Denzel Mims. Denzel Mims said this. Denzel Mims said that. And I'm like, what the hell is everybody talking about? So I go online. I'm looking up stuff. And, and, and sure enough, once I go to Twitter, I have a bunch of people that DM'd me the video of him playing Call of Duty, talking about Philadelphia being a trash-ass city. And he's glad he didn't go to this trash ass city. Now, here are my thoughts on it, okay? Because I was a big, big, big proponent of getting Denzel Mims in the second round. That's where I would have gone with my second pick uh, in the draft. No question about it. However, I think Denzel Mims is pissed off. I think he's jealous. I think he's upset that he went to the wrong green. He didn't go to the right team in green. He didn't go to the real gang green defense. You know, the, the defense of Reggie White, Seth Joyner, Clyde Simmons. He went to a trash-ass team, a team that loses every year, can't win, can't get it right for years and years and years and years. The only New York team that doesn't bother me because they stank and they lose all the time. So he's obviously upset that he went to the New York Jets and he thought the Eagles should have drafted him. I, I think that's exactly what happened. And he's resentful, like Justin Jefferson, who didn't want to go to Minnesota, wanted to come to Philly. People want to play for the Eagles. Why not? Great football town, great city, great franchise. Uh, and you get passion like nowhere else. Let me be honest. Any team in the NFC East is going to be, for the most part, a pretty exciting team to play for, okay? That's just the way it is. It's the best division in all of sports, in all of sports. So, to see Denzel Mims get upset, cry about it, uh, you know, crying over spilled milk, oh, it's a trash-ass city, trash-ass team, whatever. He just wanted to play for Philly. If he would have been drafted by the Eagles, he wouldn't have been saying that. The only reason he's upset, it's very simple. He wanted to play for the Eagles, he thought they should have took him in a second. And I agree with that. I agree with that. But you don't have to trash the city or the team and all those kind of things uh, in the meantime. And, of course, he went on 94 WIP. He talked to uh, Ike Reese. He talked to all these guys talking about how he would love to play for the city of Philly. And he was scared the first time uh, he came to the city. And maybe, maybe that's the reason the Eagles stayed away. I mean, that could be the reason right there that the Eagles didn't want any part of him so who the hell knows you know all i know is if it was me and if i'm being honest i would have drafted denzel mims in the second round i think he's very raw i think he's very talented however 
When I hear a guy go out and then trash the team because they didn't draft him, because they passed him up, or trash the city, rather, yeah, I got a problem with that. Uh, I think that uh, that tells me right there that maybe he was the wrong guy to draft. Maybe we shouldn't have drafted him because if he's acting like that and didn't and couldn't be classy enough or tough enough to say, hey, look, they didn't take me. That's okay. Uh, I'll go out and I'll show it on the field. But the trash, the team, the city, yeah, I got a problem with that. I don't, I don't think we need him. He goes to the New York Jets where he's going to get used to losing for the next 10 years because that's what happens with the Jets. I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, the Jets, you know, they haven't done anything. So, of course, you're going to be mad off. I mean, you're going to be mad. It's another Scandrick. That's what he sounds like to me. So let him go to the New York Jets. Let him, let him cause problems. I'll be okay with Jalen Hurts now. Jalen Hurts is my man, my second man, right? Carson, then Jalen Hurts. But uh, look, Denzel Mims, is, Denzel Mims acting like that, in my opinion, they got it. You got to double moonwalk that ass and, and, and pass up on him because uh, maybe the Eagles just saw something uh, in his personality that uh, maybe they were like, I think we'll pass on it. When you hear what he says and you listen to what he says, it makes a lot of sense. So tell me, what do you guys think about this whole Denzel Mims situation? We're in July. We're in July. Hopefully a few weeks uh, till they report on three weeks, July 28th. Technically, they're going to report. I don't know what's going to happen with preseason. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully we get at least two games. I think it's important that you get at least two games, but who knows? But I'll tell you this, man. I'm ready for football. I'm in Vegas. I'm near the sports betting. Everybody's ready for football. We need it. It needs to come soon, and I believe it will get here. Um, going to be a busy week. Probably do a few live streams. I got a few channel membership live streams to do this week. I got a tinfoil dingbats to do for my ch channel membership. I got to finish editing, editing that and getting it done. And, um, uh, a few public live streams as well. Um, it's getting hot out here. I'm going to let you guys go. I may or may not be back later uh, in the day for video, depending on the heat and depending on what breaks. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.